crayon eating motherfuckers, RC Styles here, welcoming you, welcoming you to Friday Night Frights. And tonight on Friday Night Frights, I am back on cam. It's called Perception. You're a blind person that has to essentially find your way through a haunted house that you apparently have history with. When you're blind, you learn a thing or two about trust. You learn who to trust. Creepy can't see. She's never gonna find out. Cassie <laughs> can't see. You learn what to trust. Focus, Cassie. What's this sound? A fan. Good. Now, what's in front of the fan? I don't know. Cassie, sounds are how we see. Listen, tap your cane. It's a coffee mug. Right, <laughs> excellent. Though you are without sight, it does not mean you cannot see. And most importantly, you learn to trust yourself. Even if that means hopping on the first flight to Boston to find the mansion from your nightmares. I don't know why I've been having these dreams for months now, and I certainly don't know what's waiting for me at Echo Bluff. But I do know I can't take much more of the torment. So I'm trusting myself to get to the bottom of it. Considering you're boarding and I'm at the door, we're both past the point of no return here. <sighs> I'm tired of being told what I can't do. I want answers. I want sleep. I want my life back. And I want to prove I can do this. but I'm um, just doing my due diligence. Hello? Probably should have worked out a plan if someone is, you know, here. In my dreams, I always see a rope, a ticket, an apple, and an axe. Maybe start there? Deep breaths, Cassie. You're here for a reason. Dearest Richard, happy anniversary, my love. What a perfect way to begin our 10th year together. New house, new baby on the way. I know this fresh start is the perfect way to complete our family. Felicia.
What was that? A memory? What was that? Hello?
Hello? Now, Cassie, that music box belongs to St. Joseph's, not to Cassie Thornton. Put it back. But I need the music box to help me fall asleep. It's a new house. I'm scared to go. <sighs> but I love this song. Okay, okay, fine. I'll leave it for the next girl. Ah, oh, wish I'd left that one buried in the backyard. What brought that back? This is the rope. The same damn rope from my dreams. What the hell does it mean? <sighs> damn. Guess I still have some digging around to do. Wish I'd left that one buried in the backyard. That was not an echo. I've always loved this agate's healing properties, but last week when I had a stomach ache, I went to touch it and it was hot. The stone wasn't in the sunlight or by a heater, and the stones around it were cool to the touch. What really worries me is that it's a protection stone. manuals don't prepare you for is that first kick. It feels like you swallowed a big fat goldfish and it's flopping around in your stomach. 
<laughs> Maybe we'll name her Goldie. I used to sleep on my belly before I got pregnant. Now I roll around like a woman possessed. This baby kicks so frantically sometimes. It must be very excited. I hope. Things in the strangest places around the house. The last one I threw over the side of the cliff because it made me feel dizzy when I touched it. But here it is. The same one with the unstitched eye back under our bed. And it's a little soggy.
was the tree in my dreams and I just forgot. What the hell? Who's here? me for morning sickness. I left my purse in the car. Yeah, sure. I'll grab them. Jesus. Imagining things, Cass. of me for it, but I hate the dirt here. There are no worms, for goodness sake. Oh, no wonder my little seedlings aren't taking root. 
Tomorrow I'll head down to a bait shop and see if some night crawlers do the trick. Delphi, text to speech. Patient, Briar, Felicia. 20 milligrams fluxodine, tabs. Instructions, take twice daily with water. Dr. Richard Briar. What kind of doctor prescribes to his own wife? New text message from Surge. Hey, about to board. What's up? Not angry, just concerned. Look, I need answers. I just got here and this shit's messed up. I'm onto something. And I'm starting to think I'm having these nightmares for a reason. Message sent. This place feels different. That thing was in the garage again. With the baby sitting on my bladder, it took all my self-control not to wet myself. My nerves are shot. I, I need some tea. I'll be out in a bit. Um, just, just leave it on the bar, honey. Thank you.
absolute crap. I've got a stack of JAMA journals up to my chin, and every issue is stuffed with pompous pseudo-intellectual prattle about the dangers of the medical model and the anti-pharmaceutical movement. Do no harm, my ass. One of my colleagues going to get back to what matters, the patient. A commentary on the state of Benny's. This dribble serves no one. Super. Now that I'm done running ghost errands, I can get back to the snooping. Delphi, text to speech. Nancy Chang's Chinese cuisine. like she's hard to look at. My eyes can't focus. I should probably tell Richard. I don't want to tell Richard.
know. Who is master of the world? Man or the insect? Nature's most persistent creatures representing nine tenths of all forms of life. With its terrifying mandibles, nothing stops the insect. They are utterly ruthless in their lust to destroy, to roam and gorge to their heart's content. The laws of nature are inexorable. Life. All yes. Does a rope, a ticket, and a goddamn apple have to do with anything? Why that? Why those items? Phone. Messages. Phone. Voicemail. Music. Voicemail. Phone. Voicemail.
Okay, Dr. B. What interests you enough to use as a key code? Gotta poke around some. Cha-ching! Why can't I go in anymore? I know, my fingers fumble keys and sometimes I'm a little slower than before, but you can't keep me prisoner in this house, in this body. I don't want any more pills. I don't like where this is going. Dose 2. The amipramine has caused vomiting and patient's hysteria has returned. Moving forward with a combination of monoamine, oxidase inhibitors, and tricyclic antidepressants. out of my periphery.
Delphi. Text to speech. One. Some kind of woman. Somehow Somehow connected connected to the tree. Two. Other people. Seemingly unrelated. A 1940s housewife. Could this be Betty? Some man with a mustache? Three. That song. Four. The noises. Five. Misaligned chakras? Was she having visions too? Everything's fine now. I'm fine. Sandy's fine. Won't you come back and sleep with us, Richard? Daddy.
appears this method works best with patients that are, how should I say, more loquacious than others. Frank was never the chattiest patient I'd ever had, but the remote sessions are not quite working for us. I'll be calling one of my colleagues shortly to see if he can accommodate Frank into his patient load.
for those of you watching on Twitch, make sure you hit that follow and share button. It helps out more than you realize. Head on over to our YouTube main page. There you can find all of our edited videos. Thumbs up the ones you like, or there is that thumbs down option, but I do not recommend it. We have that guy over in the UK named Corvus who likes to cut a bitch. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, flicker ding dong, so that way you don't miss out on more kick ass content from me and the Gamers Purgatory crew. And until our next video or podcast, I will see you. Shit, what up? What? 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 what?